In this video, you will learn how to create a pie of pie chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this pie of pie chart using this set of data. It is the data about the family expenditure. Remember that you should have more than seven values or entries to create a pie of pie chart in Microsoft Excel. If you have less than seven entries, then you can generate a simple pie chart instead of bar of pie chart or pie of pie chart. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, select the data. After that, go to Insert tab. And in Insert tab, you will find the option of Charts. In Charts, you will find the option of Pie Chart. Click on it. And here you will find the option of pie of pie chart. Just click on it and Microsoft Excel will insert a pie chart in your sheet. I will place it here and I will decrease its size so it is more visible to you. Now you will learn how to conditionally format this pie of pie chart. Firstly, click on this chart. Now you can see here this chart is selected. Now click on this chart element option. Click on it. And you will find the option of data labels. I want to insert data labels, so I will check this option. After that, I want to remove this legend because I want to enter the values of items in pie chart. So I will unselect this. You can see here I have deselect this one. Now click on this chart. Now you can see here the whole chart is selected. Place your cursor on this chart. Right click. And here you will find the option of format data series. Click on it. Now I will place it here. Now in format data series, you will find the option of series options. And here is the option of split series by split series by means that how to split these two pie charts. For example, currently you can see here it has splitted on the basis of position and value in second plots are lower three position. For example, the lower three values will be allocated to second pie chart and the remaining values will be displayed in first pie chart. For example, currently I want to display the four values in second pie chart. So I will simply change this one. Now you can see here instead of three four slices appeared in second pie chart and lower four values which is the other sports transport and school fees will be displayed in second pie chart now you can also split series by values i will select this one currently you can see here the value is less than one and we don't have any value less than one so no values is displayed in second pie chart if i select the value 10 less than 10 click here now you can see here we have three values less than 10 and these values are displayed in second pie chart again click on it and you can also split series by percentage from here i will select percentage value you don't need to calculate the percentage. Excel will automatically calculate the percentage values. Currently, you can see here I have selected values less than 10% and we have four values which are less than 10% of total family expenditure. Now you will learn how to split series on custom basis. I will select this one. In this way, you can easily transfer particular slides from one pie chart to other. For example, I am interested to display this value in first pie chart, so I will select this one. Firstly, if you click on any chart, then you can see here the whole chart is selected. Then if you click on particular slice, then that particular slice is selected. Now you can see here only this slice is selected. From here, you will find the option of point belongs to and I will select first plot. This one is the first plot and this one is the second plot. So I will select first plot. Now you can see here the value is transferred to first plot. Now I want to move this slice to second plot. So I will select this one. 
and I will select second plot. Now you can see here this value is moved to second plot. Now here you will find the option of file explosion. You can use this option to explode pie chart. For example, if I click here and I start increasing these values, you can see here the slices are exploded. And if I decrease this value, then this will come closer to each other. Similarly, you can adjust the gap width between these two pie charts. You can increase or decrease the gap width between these pie charts using this option. And you can use this option to adjust the size of pie chart. Currently, you can see here the second plot is 75% of first plot. So you can increase or decrease value using this option. I will again select this chart go to chart design and here you will find useful option of chart style you can select any particular style from this option secondly you will also find the option of quick layout you can use this option to select a quick layout of pi of pie chart using these options secondly if you are interested to change the color firstly you will learn how to change the color of pi of pie chart and group Firstly, you will learn how to change the. Firstly, you will. Secondly, you can also change the color of pie of pie chart. You can easily change the color of pie of pie chart. For example, if I go to this chart color option, you will find different color schemes. You can select any one according to your desire. Additionally, you can also change the color of individual slice. You will learn later. Firstly. I will select this one, right click, you will find the option of format data series, select this one. Now go to fill and line option and I will select border. I want to insert a solid line, I will select solid line and I will choose color black. You can select the width. 1.5 pt that's fine now i will close this one and click here now you can see here a solid border line is inserted around all slices now again select this one and again click on particular slice now you can see here only this slice is selected and i want to change the color so i will right click go to format data point go to fill and line option and here you will find the option of fill from here i will choose solid fill and you can choose particular color for example i will select red color now you can see here the color of slice is changed to red now you will learn how to format the data labels Firstly, select the data labels. I will click on it. Go to home tab and from here I will select the font size and font style. You can adjust their color. You can bold them. Now place your cursor on any particular data label, right click, go to format data label option and here you will find different options. Now I want to display percentage instead of values, so I will select percentage and I will deselect values. And I want to insert the name of categories, so I will select this one. Additionally, I don't want to show ladder line, so I will deselect this one. If I scroll down, you will find the option of label position. I will select inside end. Additionally, you can also format these lines which connect these two plots. Select this one, right click, go to format data series. Go to fill and line option and from here you can select solid line and you can choose the color and width of line from these options. Additionally, you can also insert a title. Simply select this one, write anything in formula bar.
press enter and the title will be changed and you can easily forbid this one using font options so by doing so you can easily create a pie of pie chart and format it according to your requirement that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye